Steve knows uh, as a small businessman, uh, he's met a payroll, and he knows how important it is to keep people around him and keep his employees employed. He knows what it is to make a payroll. He understands those difficulties. Uh, and for people other than small businessmen, Steve Raby knows how important a decent paying job is to men and women who bring home a paycheck. Steve knows the importance of NASA and Redstone Arsenal. He knows that ground zero for economic development in this area is Redstone Arsenal and NASA and all the great private enterprise that is here. He not only knows that, but he knows how important Belfont TVA is in Jackson County to the economic welfare of that region. And over in the Shoals area, he knows how important TVA is and has been, and the rail plant. And he knows in Lawrence County and, Ma and Morgan County, and this entire region, I've rode the roads with him. And he's a man that cares. And I can tell you one other thing. He really knows the difference between French's mustard and grape and pomp. <laughs> and I strongly recommend, I strongly recommend that you look at Steve Raby as a man who can represent you well in the United States Congress. Thank you, Steve. Thank you, Congressman. I tell you, I, am, I, I truly am humbled and honored that all of you would be here this evening. Uh, it, it, to, that you would have faith in me, that you would show support and not hide behind uh, a wall or hide it under a bushel, but you're here in public. And we've got you on tape, we're gonna hold you to it. <laughs> but I do, I, I genuinely do appreciate it. I tell you, all of these are great men. And Miss Mike, you're married to a great man. And they had a legacy of service to the people of the Tennessee Valley, a legacy that I pledge to continue. I learned from them all. I worked closely with Congressman Flippo, and I was mentored by Senator Heflin. And their lesson to me in this day is quite simple. It's time to tone down the political rhetoric Amen. and step up the public service. That's the <laughs> As we meet with people across the Tennessee Valley, and it has been fun, they make it clear that they want a congressman that's working on jobs. A congressman that's working on jobs. Not speaking in political words, or blaming people, or making excuses. The people in the Tennessee Valley, they want a congressman that's going to help us continue our proud tradition of supporting our Army and our war fighters, and continuing our part and manned space flight into the outer reaches of the universe. I will fight on these issues and other issues that make a difference in people's daily lives. I'll not fight to get on Fox News and to score political points. We need roads, we need infrastructure, we need to work with local leaders and local communities that can help their communities grow and prosper and create jobs. I have the experience to start the work the day after I'm sworn in. I've worked on all five BRACs, North Alabama. I had mentioned to a group the other day, the first BRAC I worked on, Bud Kramer was still DA of Madison County. I'm not that old, I'm just high mileage. I've worked on economic development projects here in the Valley. And I wanna be clear, this election should not be about politics. It should be about electing a congressman who's best presented and can represent and protect the interests of North Alabama. That's what we need. And, and with your help, I'm working to be that congressman. Another important message that I get from these giants, these political giants, that Alabama values and common sense, well, that's really all you need to keep you immune from Potomac fever. A lot of people go to Washington and get lost in that. These gentlemen never did. You know, there's something else that uh, 
we share in our values, our Christian values. And it should be real simple, real simple. If you give a person a word, stick to it. It's that simple. Work hard. There's no shortcuts. Whether it's politics, first grade, just work hard. And there's tough choices. People know it. There's tough choices to be made in government. Just be truthful about it. People will respect that. And one that we've all heard from the Sunday school teacher, at some point, just be neighborly. <laughs> Treat people the way you want to be treated. That works in Washington too, doesn't it, Congressman? It does. Doesn't it? You know, we have to ask, if this is what we want out of the younger generation, why aren't our political leaders showing us that? And it is that simple. I tell you, this valley has too many good people, and too many tremendous assets, and we need to be pulling together, not having politicians trying to divide us in different camps. The people, people of this valley, they treasure our traditions, our past, our accomplishments. You know, it's not many areas that you could come to, you look here on this map, and you bring up issues like how do we tame a, a river system? How can we do that and help agriculture and create power? And how do we take that technology that's used in war and develop that and use it for agriculture? This area found a way to be part of that. How can we be part of and what can we do to put a man on the moon? This community stepped up. And we were asked to find a way to develop a missile defense system for our troops and for our nation. This community found a way to step up. When called, our people respond. We must now face the challenges of a new century. And we're being called to do things different, to grow an economy with high technology, but do it in a way that we don't export jobs. We're called to protect our nation from a world of terrorism, not armies, but terrorists. We're called to think about the next generation by not spending our nation into bankruptcy. Washington has lost its way, and we know how to get it focused. And with your help, we'll move in that direction. I want to thank you for joining me in this campaign because together, we, we can find what is best about North Alabama. We can find what is best about our country, and we can leave it to our generation following and the generation beyond a greater place. There's been a lot said about the traditions and relationships that we have with former leaders, but this election is not about our grandfathers, it's about our grandchildren. And I hope you will join me tonight as we start this campaign. And together we can do this, not in a partisan way, but in a way of which all of North Alabama can come together for some simple principles of following in this tradition that these men have created and that we can create jobs and build a greater North Alabama. Thank you all for coming. Thank you so very much.